So one of the things that I've noticed in getting closer and closer to launching this comic book company is you get this growing amount of people who so doubt in what it is that you do. Now, of course, you have those that may be more neutral about you or what it is that you're doing. And you're going to also have those that are ally, you think would ally with you, that think you're rather delusional with what it is that your aspirations are. Now, I've been very clear about what it is that I'm trying to do. Yes, I would love to get in a position to where we're legitimately competing with the Marvels and DCs of the world and the American comic book company, uh, excuse me, in the markets, but not just the American comic book market, but just the market in general when it comes to comic books. And again, the more that I have got to the position that I've, that we get to, or I'm in right now is more people kind of want to want me to talk more about it, get more stoked about it. Those folks, and maybe you guys that have tried to start businesses, you get that as well. Well, folks like you're delusional, you need to rein it in. You'll never, never get to that pot spot. My favorite one to address though, are the haters. <laughs> Uh, this is one of my reply guys. I have a few of them on my Twitter. And these are guys that basically anything it is that I say, they just kind of respond with some kind of negative approach, which, you know, whatever. Uh, whatever uh, you want to do is your business. But this guy who is, um, it's what he says. Let's read it. How are you going to win when you and everything that you want to top these big companies have already lost. I don't know what that means. But he says, LOL, stay mad. This is the coping mechanism of these guys post. They think they can talk stuff into existence and like crying, laughing emojis. I guess they believe absolves them of saying dumb shit. He says, Marvel, D Disney, DC, Hollywood ain't going nowhere and will continue to always be bigger and better and more successful than these crap alternatives. I can imagine if you were an entrepreneur years ago, I mean, a lot of the big companies that we look at, like even right now, um, that is mega kind of tech companies were not companies that started. Some of them are, you know, started, I mean, decades upon decades upon decades ago. Some of them are relatively recent, started in a lot of your, hell, your children's lifetime in some cases. But I can imagine them not ever giving it a shot ever, you know, and, you know, you're working out of your garage or you're working out of wherever you are. And, uh, you know, there's going to be those people that fail that never get out of that position, but there's always folks that creep through the crack if, if history have shown us anything, especially when you post something that is contrary to uh, like maybe in the same market, but people recognize that there's a problem. Maybe that person that dominates their market, doesn't advance, doesn't change. And that alternative comes and seems to be a better one. Like kind of what Redbox and Netflix did to Blockbuster <laughs> when they refused to update their model and get with the times and get with the technology. I have to always remind people with Marvel and DC, they don't even dominate their own market. That's so important to realize, or so important to mention that right now, even in America, they're getting their asses kicked by manga. Japanese are kicking their ass in their own avenue. So they're already being competed with right now. But see, what this type of folk is or these types of people are, obviously ide ideologically, I'm different than these guys, uh, politically, philosophically. And they consider me their enemy. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm not some deranged leftist. And a lot of these people have, uh, they're getting off on what we have right now. And that is, the reality is that the left has control. People that advocate social justice, they have control of a lot of things that dominate the market right now, especially in entertainment. I don't think that's an absolute thing, as in that didn't have to be. That's just what is long time infiltration process. It certainly was accelerated over the last years. And yeah, they have it. I'm certainly not oblivious to that. But I don't believe they always have to be there. And I think as people come up with these different forms of alternatives, some of those are going to stick, whether you like it or not. Definitely as more people become more aware of where their dollars going, start to care a little more about where their dollars are going and not just doing things to just go through the motions, you're going to be very, very surprised. But a lot of these folks understand that 
if that shifts, and I talk about the parallel economy and the best way to beat these guys is to compete with them. And they know that that's, that's a threat to what they, they, the advantage that they have. So I'm saying this to tell you guys who are going to be supporters of the brand that will be individually coming out with. And there's other people in the comic book space that are doing similar things. These haters, man, they're going to be, they're going to knock everything it is that we do. You know why? Because any event that they see success to where it makes lots and lots of money and uh, the trajectory is, it's through the roof. It's more, it's through, it's going to the moon. <laughs> they know if that's the case, the threat to their power, there's a, there's a, um, there's a, there's a opening there. Let's say that to where, you know, that turns into more customers, which turns into more customers. And if you don't think some of those customers aren't going to be fans of uh, former fans, maybe of the mainstream or coming from people that generally came to uh, reading mainstream comics, you're out of your mind. Where do you think I came from? <clears throat> it's going to be something to watch. Certainly going to be something to keep up with. But I say this for you guys who, <clears throat> not for me, because I'm obviously not going to stop anything it is that I'm doing. <clears throat> not to give you some cheesy generic kind of hoo right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I want y'all to be great. Because of that, I understand that a lot of y'all not built for this. And you're going to hear people so doubt. Some of them are going to even be close to you, and that's going to make you feel some kind of way. And you're going to not want to take that that leap when you know that you have a talent. Maybe you got the uh, existing resources for the initial startup, and you might you might have a step. It's a, sometimes it's a leap of faith, but it has to be taken if we're ever going to get out of this rut where this cultural space is dominated by folks that hate us. So if we're going to get to that point, there's going to have to be a lot of people that take risks. Now, I'm not saying that I expect you or want you to make a financial irresponsible thing like uh, uh, an action. Don't do that. You know your limitations. You need to be realistic. Uh, this is not something that's going to happen overnight for anybody, even the ones of us that, that, that see great success going into years. This is not something that is going to happen overnight. They have a large part of the market share and we got work to do. I think it happens a lot faster than what it did before because of our direct line of sight with our customers. The fact that technology allows us to connect with people. We can cut out middlemen. So we can. it's going to happen faster than what it did maybe in the past. But it's going to take a little time and not everybody's going to get out on the other side. Some people are going to fail. Some people are going to see great success. Even fewer are going to see great success. But if you know you have a great idea, you know you have a great talent. You know you have a head on your shoulders. Do not allow these weirdos, especially your ideological enemy, to so doubt in you to the point to where you don't even give it a shot. Because that's exactly what they want you to do. They're going to delegitimize everything we do. You see what maybe De La Wise doing in their little space with the movie stuff? They're going to delegitimize. They were delegitimizing that as soon as it was announced that Gina Carano was working with them. All these blue check marks came out. Ha, ha, ha. It's a demotion. Who cares? It's not Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, and all that. But my approach is, you know, Star Wars didn't start as Star Wars. You know what I mean? Like as in the cultural phenomena that we have right now. Why can't there be someone that has next up? Another franchise that has next up. And why can't it come from us? See, it can. But a lot of these folks don't want it to be that way. You also, of course, got to watch out for the people that you may think are your allies. Because a lot of that jealousy and that envy is real, man. Now, I'm not like that. I want to see as many people be great as can be. Because I'm not an economic illiterate. And I understand that there's no such thing as a fixed pie. Just because you being great don't mean it's a shot at me. Pies grow. It can be grow. It's not. It can be grown. It's not fixed. So many of people that are in our space may go see success. Y'all see that? I see that. People in Seattle, I'd rather support uh, you guys. I'd rather have a friendly competition, and maybe we both be great out of that, as opposed to just knocking each other. But some people ain't like that, and they think you're gonna be a threat to them. That's the type of stuff you gotta ignore. You gotta keep going out there and doing what it is you're doing. But you gotta watch these haters, man. They tricky. For you guys that aren't used to that. I, I, I said time and time again, man, for folks that ain't built for that, definitely the conflict, definitely for the altercations, 
that's going to make you feel some kind of way because it's going to be unwarranted. And you're like, why are these people knocking what it is that I'm doing? I know that I'm doing what I'm doing as well. I know what that is good. Why do I have folks that aren't even interested in my product saying these mean things about me? And it's going to make you feel some kind of way. But I say, screw those guys. And you get out there and be great. We're going to win. And they know we're getting closer and closer to changing this tide. And that's because people, instead of talking about it, are starting to put that to action. And that's what they were always scared of. It wasn't that we would somehow gain back control of, of these, these uh, the way there's more balance within these entities. They knew that was never going to be the case. They know that's never going to be the case because of how much they already control and how much has been long. Pro so they're not scared of that. What they're scared of is that people that that fund them, that give them some that perceived legitimacy that they hate will then say, because of that, I no longer will hold you as the upper echelon of this industry, of this this pocket of corner of the market. I'll go elsewhere. That's what they're afraid of, because then they have no power. And then we, with this parallel economy, get out there and, and really show that we can compete. It's going to take some time. But I encourage all of y'all to be great. And for most of these haters, it ain't even worth responding to unless you're going to do what I do. And that's monetize the living shit out of them. Go make your money and go get out there and be great. You just listened to a clip from my podcast, For Ken and Sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash YoungRipper59 and Odyssey.com slash at YoungRipper59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.